bonus bin withholdings. If your company happens to get a garnishment from a collection agency or a local government or something like that for say like child support for one of your distributors, you are required by law to withhold those from any income that that distributor could make. So you can create a withholding. So create new. You're going to name it most likely the name of the distributor, but I'm going to put example in here. The description I'm going to say is child support, but it could be could be uh, garnishment or it could be medical bill or whatever, whatever you want to put the description as and any notes in there. Then I'm going to select that I'm going to use a specific distributor and then I'm going to find that distributor. So I'm going to say it's distributor number six and I'm going to find that person and then I'm going to select that person. So that person, Dorothy Moore, has now been selected to be the one distributor that I use this withholding on. And within the court order that you receive, it'll either provide you a percentage or an amount. If it's a percentage that they want you to collect 8%, then you can go ahead and put in 8%. If it's, a per if it's not a percentage, and it's a specific amount, say they owe $2,000, then you put in $2,000 and then you save. Now you'll be able to see that this is an example of child support and it's active right now because it's marked as true. I can click the button to deactivate it if I want to turn it off. Um, if I want to go ahead and say, for example, now Dorothy was paid and she was paid a thousand dollars and it withheld it within the bonus bin because of this court order we now need to go in and edit this down to be a thousand dollars now so the next time she earns commissions it'll only hold, withhold a thousand dollars and then you'll want to save now, if you were doing percentages, you would never have to change the percentage until the date that the order says to, for you to stop withholding. And then at that point, you would go in and you would just deactivate that particular withholding.